follow Assetto Corsa fans, sim racers, and those of you that are being played this video as a form of torture by a shadowy government agency. Today, I will mostly be driving the Lotus Evora GTC around Laguna Seca, and so will the Assetto Corsa AI. Join us on the grid here in the uh, gorgeous little Lotus Evora. We're starting at the back because, uh, well, that's just much more entertaining than racing all the way around at the front. Although the latter is much quicker. Just pop four wheels off the white lines, go around the outside of the AI there. Charlie doesn't mind, it's all okay. Take it nice and easy into turn one as the uh, AI tends to break a little bit early. Imagine to thread our way between uh, various lotuses. Low tie, is it? No, definitely Lotuses. Still there on the outside. There you go. Always good to see him in the mirror. Definitely a proponent of uh, slow in, fast out on the first lap against, uh, well, even uh, against uh, other people, but particularly against the AI, just on the basis that uh, Often people tend to go a bit hot into corners, end up being very slow on the apex as they anchor up, and then you've got nowhere to go. If you back off a little bit on the way in, then, well, as you've seen there, you can do something on the way out of the corner. Let's head into the corkscrew for the first time, see if we can outbreak this guy. Don't generally like going around the outside, but there's plenty of room. Maybe taking a little bit too much curb there on the inside, on the way out. Rainy curve for the first time, and the uh, back end tries to get away from us. Downshift protection uh, stopping me from making a complete fool of myself there. And we weigh anchor for the final corner. Clip the apex and get a good run out onto the start finish straight. One lap of Laguna Seca done. No casualties, that was good. It's always nice to see the AI all survive the first lap of a race as well. As I said, I'm driving the uh, Evora GTC today. Uh, Assetto, of course, has got more versions of the Lotus Evora than Heinz has varieties of can goods. Uh, I think the GTC uh, is based on the GT4 car. It's got big, fat GT3 tyres, though, as well as ABS and traction control. But, uh, well, we've got those uh, generally have everything set to, to factory settings in Assetto Corsa. So you, when you drive cars with traction control and ABS, you still do. Uh, the general plan is to try and not activate them because it's slower than. So you'll see we're still threshold braking, we're still trail braking with this car, we're not just jumping on the brakes and... Ooh, very wide there, very wide there. As you can see, you didn't jump on the brakes. Yeah, so as you saw there, just trail braking into uh, the corkscrew. Try and go around the outside of this silver car into the rainy curve, and he's very, very slow on the apex. I'm giving him a little bit of a nudge just to say, uh, What are you doing, brother? And a good run there should uh, be able to outbreak him down the outside into the final turn. Although he's still there, we have to give him room on the apex, which will compromise our exit. But by the looks of things, not as much as his. Now, I do like the Avora GTC. Uh, Just very fun, fun little car. It just, there's something about it. It just feels a bit more nimble than some of the sort of GT3 type and G other GT4 cars in Assetto Corsa. It's a car you can really chuck in. I, I, I sort of feel like it's like a, a more grippy version of, the, and a much faster, obviously, version than the uh, MX-5 Cup car, which is another car I just really enjoy. And it just leads itself really nicely to single make racing. Sim Racing System uses a similar Lotus Evora for one of their single make events. I think that one doesn't have the, the GC3 tyres. And oh, we get the run here. <laughs> Close to giving him a tap there. Not sure if we made contact or not. Oh, very bold breaking across the, uh, the grass there. We get it stopped. We're making good progress in these early laps. Do you like this rainy curve? I think it's, uh, people talk about the corkscrew at uh, Laguna Seca, but I think I think Rainy is actually the the more interesting corner. There are multiple lines through it. Oh, oh, is that a two-foot? Yes. 
I just recorded this video a week ago and I'm doing the commentary a week later so I've forgotten everything that happened. The uh, graphite grey Evora there getting a better run th than us out the corner but we should be able to break nice and heavily into turn one and we have the line yeah, keeping it nice and tight on the entry. I still hear him there but he's gone. Job done. Just uh, carrying a little bit, getting a little bit early on the throttle there and uh, finding the dirt at the edge of the track, not the way you want to do it. This is one of my favourite cars for uh, learning tracks actually. It's a little bit forgiving uh, and you can chuck it around if you get offline, which frequently happens, you can uh, actually do something about it. Some of the other cars I enjoy driving a lot, uh, you know, the 962 or the, the, the 935, uh, you get offline and you try to brake and oh, it's the end of the world. As you can see, this car's got much more grip than it's got power, so uh, it's pretty forgiving. The back end will come around on you if you, uh, if you try and plant the throttle mid-corner though. Which uh, well, you probably shouldn't do. There you go, had the uh, classic little bit of uh, understeer which uh, transitions to oversteer mid-corner there, so it, it's not entirely planted. Still keeps you on your toes a little bit. Now the question really is whether this, uh, this yellow Evora in front of us is first place, and I think it might be. Running the AI at 98% on this one, I think. Oh, and he's, uh, he's not first place. Shame. It's okay, we've still got a couple of laps left to see what we can do here. Ooh, back end going on us uh, as we try to turn the car in. Nice and easy to save them. Oh, much better exit than the uh, AI, although this is not somewhere you want to try and overtake. Oh. We tried to back off and let the AI have the corner there, but he still tried to turn in on us anyway. Oh, so thick. So slow on the entry to uh, corkscrew there. Just a little bit of oversteer as we lifted off there as well. Yeah, we know we're uh, we're better on the brakes there than the AI, and uh, although the, uh, they didn't give us too much room, it was uh, easy enough to uh, just uh, put a wheel on the inside of the sausage curve there. You don't want to hit that little red marker, or the, uh, or the left-hand side of the car will get airborne, and uh, well, I like using all four wheels to turn where possible. Uh, Laguna Seca makes a really fine addition to our Seto Corsa. Uh, I'm really glad uh, Kunos added it in the uh, the free update they did for everyone just before Christmas. And I think this week it's finally come to the PlayStation and imminently to the, the Xbox from what I understand. Really well model track, uh, feels very very much like the iRacing one as well. So uh, I don't know if... Ooh, messy messy there. I don't know if this track's been laser scanned but it... You know, it feels pretty close to the uh, iRacing one, which definitely is. So uh, sometimes you can feel a big difference. Uh, not necessarily so much in the of course, but other sims. Some of the race department tracks feel very different. Oh, as the car tries to get away from us under braking there. It's not entirely uh, planted, as I said. Uh, for example, some of the, uh, the race, de race department, race room uh, tracks do feel quite different. And I know they don't really laser scan tracks. Whereas uh, Assetto Corsa is uh, a blend, isn't it? I think some of the tracks are laser scanned, others not. So uh, generally, you don't. I don't see there's too much of a difference between the uh, the eye racing and uh, Assetto Corsa tracks most of the time. But uh, in this case, there is almost none. Looks and feels great. I'm really glad they brought it in. Heading into the final lap now, and it feels like a lot of the action in this uh, this race was in the first two thirds, sadly, as uh, the uh, the black Evora in front of us is just too far away. 
It's one of the things that sometimes happens in uh, Assetto Corsa with the AI. You set the field spread a little bit so uh, so they don't get too bunched up. And I think I had the field spread set at about two. It wasn't very much at all. And uh, sometimes the lead guy is just that much quicker. Because I didn't do any qualifying for this race as well, you don't. it's not guaranteed that all of the cars are in the uh, sort of pace order. So sometimes it takes a few laps to... Uh, for everything to settle out and you know if the quick, quickest guys at the front and uh, you know the next three places are taken up in the first couple of laps by slow guys then ooh, messy <laughs> that's uh, that's how it is oh very much uh, overdriving the car on this final lap trying too hard Uh, I think I probably got a sequence of about five corners in a row there. Uh, luckily you get the final corner right. Blend in the throttle and uh, that's it for us. <laughs> Fastest lap on the final lap and we finished second. Well I hope you enjoyed our gentle jaunt around Laguna Seca in the uh, Lotus Evora GTC cars. If you enjoyed the video please hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.